My name is Malcolm Graham. I'm the CEO of Lime Tree, and today I'm going to be talking you through some tips and tricks on how to better use the internet and mobile devices. The object of authors of adware is to generate advertising revenue for as long as possible. Adware is usually extremely difficult to remove and often takes several attempts to finally remove it. The first step would be to check and see if it's in the list of installed software. Now you might be lucky, um, the software might be listed in the ad remove programs, but however, it's worth checking this list before you try other ways of cleaning your PC because you might be lucky, it might actually be listed here in this list of programs. Sometimes this list can be a little bit slow if you've got a lot of software running. So check down the list of installed programs and you may recognize some of the software there. So if the author of the adware has actually been kind enough to allow you to add or remove it, then you may well see the name of the piece of adware in this list. You've got to be very careful with this list because there will be essential software that you use every day here that you definitely don't want to remove, things like your web browser, possibly Skype or other software that you use regularly. So make sure you're selecting something that you really don't need. Step one will remove most basic adware. However, if this doesn't work, you should download and run an anti-spyware program. There are several of these programs available for free and paid. In my experience, the best free tools out there are Microsoft Security Essentials and Super Anti-Spyware. The best paid for options, in my opinion, are Kaspersky Internet Security and ESET Smart Security. Running any of these tools will have varied results. So some may completely sort out any problems you're having, some may partially do that and none of them individually can be completely relied upon, so it might be advisable to have several different options. When you initially install the software, you should firstly update the database and then run a full scan. A full scan of your computer is likely to take a very long time, so it is best to run it at the end of the day. The only caveat to this is that certain security programs actually require some interaction during the scan. If you're running some software which requires some interaction during the scan, it's best to do this at the start of the day where you can carry out those interactions as a background task. If after running and installing the program it doesn't clear the adware, you should try running a bootable, sometimes known as rescue disk version of the software. The reason for this is that the program will run when Windows starts and mask itself from virus or adware removal tools. If this step fails, you should consider downloading other anti-adware programs and running scans using them, as one program is always unlikely to be able to completely remove the many hundreds and thousands of adwares or viruses that would accumulate on your computer over time. If all of the above fail, the only Final option would be to format your hard drive and reinstall everything. On Windows, you can restore all your data from a reliable backup, which you took at some point when you were not infected. So that's a few approaches on how to remove adware. 